The next ones are some word problems that involve fractions. When I'm working with fractions, I'm taking the fraction times the total to equal the part. Usually it'll say half of something or two-thirds of something, of means times in algebra. And so it says here the yearbook club had a meeting. The meeting had 24 people, which is three-fourths of the club. How many people are in the club? So you want to think about, is this 24 just the part, or is it the total number of people? Well, in this case, we want three-fourths of the club. The club is the total number of people. There are more people in the club than went to the meeting, right? Not everybody shows up, just like class. So 24 is our part. Three-fourths is our fraction. So 3 fourths times something is going to equal our 24, right? Now we know here that if I want to get this by itself, I need to get rid of the 3 fourths and move it to the other side by doing the opposite. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. And if I divide by 3 fourths, what do I have to do? When we divide with fractions, what do we end up doing? Cross. Multiplying by the reciprocal, right? So I have to change this into 24 times 4 thirds. You'll see on Alex that they just flip it right away. They don't write the dividing in there. They just put times 4 thirds and then people go, well, how come they're doing that? That's why they're doing that. Technically, we're dividing by 3 fourths, which is multiplying by the reciprocal. 3 goes into 24 8 times. 8 times 4, 32. So there are 32 people in the club. Only 24 of them showed up for the meeting. Mary's on her way home in her car. Her drive is 27 miles long. She has finished two-thirds of the drive so far. How far has she driven? So, two-thirds is our fraction. Is that 27 miles the total length of her drive or the part that she went so, so far? That's the total, right? The total's 27. We want to know the part that she's driven. So we want the smaller number. So in this case, we're just going to go ahead and multiply because our 2 thirds is right next to our 27. And so again, we can reduce. 3 goes into 27 9 times. 2 times 9 is 18. So she's gone 18 miles out of the 27 mile drive. Kevin needs to memorize words on a vocabulary list for Russian class. He has memorized 30 of the words, which is 5 sixths of the list. How many words are on the list? So think about what you should put down for your equation. Is that 30 the total number of words or just part of the words? is part. So I'm going to say 5 sixths of my total is the 30 that he's memorized so far. And so if I'm going to solve that, what should I do? I'm going to do what with my 5 6? I'm going to do the reciprocal of 5 6. I'm dividing by 5 6, which is multiplying by the time I get done by 6 fifths, right? 5 goes into 30 6 times, and 6 times 6 is 36. And we know we should end up with a bigger number. There's more words on the list than he has memorized so far, right? So if we do the wrong thing, hopefully we recognize, oh, I've got the wrong answer because I get a smaller number instead of a bigger number. <laughs>